<laughs> hey there YouTube! So, as you can probably see on the wall behind me, this wall is very, very heavily marked. And uh, the result, the reason for this is because myself and my housemate both park our bikes here in the hall so they don't get stolen because we've had a bunch of them stolen from the basement. This is the second one of my videos revolving around theft. Dublin isn't actually that unsafe. So I thought I would show you guys a quick life hack on how to remove these kinds of markings with something you probably already have in your house. An eraser. So it works exactly as you imagine it does. You just simply take the eraser and rub on the markings that you want to remove. On stubborn ones, sometimes if you go up and down, it'll sort of smear it a bit, but then just go that way and kind of cross hatch them out and they're gone. As you can see, that has made a huge difference to the wall. Um, few things to note about this though. One, um, I would say don't use a coloured eraser. Um, anything with a dye in it has a risk of marking it in the same way that a black tyre marks the wall. Um, and also I would test it out in a corner before you uh, go rubbing it across your main wall just in case it does leave a streak on it. Um, always make sure that you press quite lightly with the rubber just to start off with depending on how firm the paint is. This is a rented apartment so we can go actually pretty hard against this wall because it's very very firm paint. And uh, yes, when you are finished with the eraser, you can try and get those last few little bits with uh, a soft sponge, a soft sponge, not the scouring side, because that will take off the paper that is very, very, very lightly done. You don't want to put too much water on either because, again, that can lift the paint off the wall. Uh, but yes, that is a quick and easy way of restoring a wall that has been damaged by bikes over time. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Okay.